Hello friends, today we are going to see how to delete a binary tree. So let's see, this is the binary tree and we want to delete this binary tree which can also be said as we want to delete all the nodes in this binary tree. So how to do it? For deleting this tree, we are going to use post order traversal of a tree plus a function free which deletes the node and makes the memory free. So now what is post order traversal? In my previous video, I have explained the post order traversal in detail. I have mentioned the link of the video in the description below. So let's revise it quickly. The post order traversal is visiting the left subtree of a node first then the right subtree of a node and then check the node. Here checking the node means performing some action on the node. That action can be either printing that node or deleting that node. So let's demonstrate what actually it is. So if for example this is your tree. So A left child is B and right child is C. Now whenever you are traversing the node then the root of the tree is passed to the function. So A is the root. So when you point A by a pointer P which can be said as P is pointing to the root. Now first you go to the left part of P. So what is the left child of A? B. Which means first go to the left side of A that is P points left, P is pointing to A. Then go to the right side of P that is this is right side and after that perform action on P. So you have to perform the action at the end while leaving the node. See after we are done with this action we will leave that node. We will leave the function call and we will leave that node. So it means when we leave the node you have to perform some action that is the post order traversal. So let's see how to delete the binary tree. So void delete tree is the name of the function and the root of this tree is passed as a parameter. So now p is pointing to the root of the tree. So if p equal to equal to null, obviously if p is null then there is nothing to delete. So we have to return. Now delete tree p points left and after that delete tree p points right. You can remember this is exact same recursive calls as the post order traversal. That is first you go to the left subtree then go to the right subtree with recursive function calls. And after checking the left subtree and right subtree then you perform any action on the node whatever you want to perform. In this case we want to delete the node and for deleting we use the function which is named as free and we are applying the function or on the node that is p. So let's see these three steps how to execute these three steps on this binary tree. So on every node of this binary tree these three steps are going to be executed. Now let's execute them. Yes. So for A, the first step is go to the left subtree. First step is go to the left subtree. Now at B, again perform the three steps in sequence. So the first step here is go to the left subtree. Again for D, the first step is go to the left subtree. Again for H, the first step is go to the left subtree. Now that is null and when that is null we return. So we 
return from here. Now go to the second step that is check the right subtree. So check the right subtree that is also null. So return. Now we are at H. Now the third step. The third step is free P. So we have to free this node. Remember that P is now pointing to H. Recursively we have passed the left pointer of A, then left pointer of B, then left pointer of D and P has moved along with the left pointers that is first P was pointing to A, then P pointed to B, then P pointed to D and finally P is pointing to H and we are performing this function on H. Now free P. So we will free this node. So this node is now deleted and we come out of this function and when we come out of this function we return to that node that parent node yes so at parent at d only one step is performed so now the second step is check the right subtree here the first step is check the left it is null second step is right it is null so the third step is delete this and return Okay, so at D now two steps are for performed. Now the third step, delete this and return. At B, first step is performed. So the second step, go to the right subtree. Now the first step, left subtree that is null. Second step, right subtree that is null. Third step is delete this and return. So for B, two steps are performed. The third step now is to delete this and return. So this is how we perform delete tree function on this binary tree. Let's go ahead now. Now at A first step is performed now the second step. So the second step is go to the right subtree. So again at C the first step is go to the left subtree and in this way going to the left subtree of F, we will again delete J here and similarly we will delete K, F, G, L, C and when we leave A again we delete A all as well. So this is how we delete all the nodes in this binary tree. Hey friends, please subscribe to my channel as I post algorithm videos every day and if you want a video on any particular topic then please mention in the comment below thank you